uh, since I have a, a room full of CPAs, we talked about this with insurance agents, but I don't think it has quite the same impact. Uh, anybody have a ballpark figure, corporate and or personal clients, what percentage of your clients get audited by the IRS every year? Very few? 8%? 8%? That's a good number. It's a good number. Of that 8%, what percentage of that 8% retains yours or someone's services to help prepare them for that audit so they're protected against the IRS? 100%. 100%. What I can tell you is that 100% of your corporate clients go through a premium audit every single year, by law, by rule. And that almost 0% of them you know, nationwide, a very small percentage, have anyone to help them through that process. Now, how many of you have a pretty good idea of what a clerical job is? You all pretty much work in clerical jobs, right? So how many of you, if, you, if I told you to sit down and write me a description of a clerical job, would come up with three single-space typewritten pages describing what that is? <laughs> or even more, 25 pages single-space typewritten. Uh, so even though some other classification may say all employees, we don't really mean it. If you have people who fit in here, that's okay too. So even in their effort to be clear and saying it encompasses all employees, if that's not really what it means. And it just keeps, uh, keeps going from there. If you talk to contractors who do this work, they'll be able to tell you from those titles likely what the exact differences are between those types of work. But premium auditors don't do street or road construction. That's not their job. So the chances that they are innately going to know what each of those is and what encompasses them is unlikely. And, when, and it's not always fair. It doesn't always feel fair. We were talking about this at dinner last night. Uh, there's a, the school professional code that Russ talked about. That not only includes school teachers at your standard, uh, your standard schools, but it can also include uh, care facilities for uh, drug rehab or disturbed children. And those are obviously way more dangerous. The people who work in those facilities, God bless them, they get beat up, they get bit, all sorts of terrible things happen to them. But they're still in that school professional code rated the same way as, as your kid's second grade teacher, um, which doesn't always seem fair. The same thing happens with furniture stores. I got a call from an advisor a few months ago. Uh, they had had all of their furniture salespeople, <coughs> excuse me, rated as outside sales. Well, that's clearly wrong because they're inside, they're not outside. Without reading you the classification, just by the title, you can tell that, that that's probably not right. But they were very upset because the furniture store classification was three or four times higher. And we went through the classification, and it's always hard for me to have to give my clients bad news. They call me hoping I'm going to be able to save their clients. And sometimes I have to say, no, the auditor really was correct. Uh, in doing this, 